There is no question what you see inside Meow Wolf is art. Bright, quirky, interactive art. It is totally amazing. What's less clear is if you should call this popular attraction a museum. I'm still impressed by the fact that the door opens. <laughs> Even Vince Cadlubeck and Emily Montoya, Meow Wolf's co-founders, wrestle with that one. What is Meow Wolf? What is it? <laughs> that question is like so hard to answer these days. We produce large-scale immersive storytelling experiences. Is it a museum or is it more than that? It's really more of just an art experience. You can come in and there's no prescribed path. You can go wherever you want and look at whatever you want. The first thing you'll see inside Meow Wolf is a home. They call it the House of Eternal Return. We had no idea. <laughs> yeah. I, I thought it would be like a bunch of paintings, not houses. Quickly it becomes clear something strange happened that has broken time and space. The family that lives here is missing. Visitors are free to poke around, searching for clues, even rifling through the mailbox. And you can touch stuff. Yeah, you can touch everything, almost. I mean, we invite people to just engage with it however they want to. It doesn't take long to figure out this house is unlike any other. Take the refrigerator. If you look inside, you're not going to find a bunch of groceries, but rather a bright white mysterious portal. It's not just the fridge. The washing machine opens to reveal a slide, leading visitors to a whole new psychedelic multiverse. It's like when you're a little kid and your imagination runs wild, and then you walk through it, I'm getting goosebumps just talking about it. One path leads to a glowing mastodon with bones that can be thumped like a xylophone. Here, lots of things make noise, including a harp made of lasers Oh my goodness. And the mysterious woman who wanders around playing a tuba. This artistic explosion started on a much smaller scale in 2008. Back then, Meow Wolf was a collective of artists in Santa Fe who did pop-up projects in various locations. But in 2014, they wanted something more permanent inside a vacant bowling alley. So they pitched the idea to George R.R. R. Martin, local resident and author of Game of Thrones. He loved it. He loved the idea. He's just a kid at heart. And so he said, yeah, and he ended up buying the building and he became our landlord, which is the funniest thing is that George R. R. Martin is our landlord. The house even features a couple nods to Game of Thrones. And like a dragon's breath, Meow Wolf is catching fire, attracting fans of all ages and soon spreading to other cities. A new exhibit is set to open by year's end in Las Vegas and another within two years in Denver, a city that already boasts a Meow Wolf themed ride at the Elitch Gardens theme park. The growing reach of an artistic movement that's hard to describe, but easy to enjoy.